psychedelic compounds are a large category of substances that affect the mind. Some psychedelics are naturally occurring in nature, such as fungi or plants or secreted by certain animals. And other psychedelics can be synthesized in labs. Examples of psychedelics include psilocybin, which is the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, LSD, which is a synthetic psychedelic, and MDMA, which is sometimes described as ecstasy. What studies have been showing is that these medicines can have a really significant impact on mood disorders and anxiety disorders, and often produce powerful insights for individuals that, uh, that, that have an enduring effect on people's sense of well-being. They create alterations in the way that the parts of our brain connect to each other, the neural networks in our mind, and that has pretty profound impacts in our sense of reality in a way that can produce intense experiences that might be empowering or enlightening, and that can also be frightening. There's an effort to understand for what health problems are specific psychedelic agents most effective. Um, there's been evidence that they can be helpful in the treatment of depression, in anxiety disorders, such as PTSD, in other conditions, such as eating disorders, some interest in substance use disorders, but there's still really, really few studies, especially few rigorous, well-controlled um, uh, studies. Well, first and foremost, if you're struggling with a health condition and you're seeking treatment, you should talk to your doctor or a mental health provider if it's a mental health condition. When it comes to psychedelics, these are powerful substances and they need to be handled with care and with humility. Psychedelics can produce powerful, perhaps therapeutic experiences, but they can also produce negative experiences. And a lot depends on how they are administered and how they are taken.